Could you give me the plates? Analyzing this requires a bit of a reformulation. If you remember back to the video tutorial called How Grammar is Studied, when, gra when we look at um, grammar analysis, we tend to look at declarative, positive, active voice sentences and clauses. If you have a question, you then have to rephrase the question from an interrogative into a, declar a declarative. So, could you give me the plates becomes, you could give me the plates. Once you have it like that, then you can immediately begin to analyze it as subject, uh, predicator, and direct object, and so on. So, how does this actually look? And how is it then, how is the reformulation made? So, let's look at the scent. You could give me the plates. So, if it's you could give me the plates, then the subj consists of a subject, a subject, and this I'm going to come back to in a moment. Okay, so it consists of a subject, which is realized as a noun phrase, pronoun, and it's you. That part, no problem, I'm sure, by now. If we look at the predicate, then in the predicate we have a predicator, could give me something. So this has two objects. This is the di-transitive pattern because it has two objects and the plates and me so me is the indirect object this is a noun phrase realizes a pronoun and me and the direct object it realizes a noun phrase there's the determiner and an article the and the noun plates all that part no problem I'm sure let's move over to the predicator the predicator becomes could give and therefore we have a verb phrase and in that verb phrase there's a, a finite verb a modal and a non-finite verb which is the lexical verb and this is give now the the finite verb the modal verb is could and what happens with could when you make it a question is you relocate this into initial set into clause or sentence initial position it takes this position here so in effect it moves from here into this position here so you can write could there and we'll take it away from here and that describes to you how we can account for interrogatives when we have syntax trees.